பார்த்திருக்கு Welcome back to another tutorial video. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a professional channel background. So first you're going to need Photoshop. So once you have that, you can just open it up. Here is my channel background currently. So this is what it looks like, right? Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a background somewhat like this. And once you, once you have all that done, I'm going to help you set it up as well. So first you're going to want to make a blank canvas. Make sure that it is for the size of it. 5, 60, and then um, the height, 1440. All right, make sure it sets the pixels down here, background contents, make it transparent, press OK. All right, so now you have your blank canvas. Okay, so you're going to want to have some uh, picture background for the actual banner. So go ahead and find a picture that you want. All right, so there's a great website called panzoi.com, and essentially you go here. And uh, you scroll down on the front page and you click on the bottom one where it says backgrounder 3 and then it will show something like this and essentially right here in the front page you'll have the selection thing right here where you can select YouTube 1 um, and all kinds of other YouTube things go to YouTube 1 and uh, I'm just gonna refresh the page right here so I can show you what it would look like and as you can see right here we have um, the template for the YouTube 1 channel background and uh, this highlighted area right here above the uh, the black square is all the area that's not going to be shown on YouTube. So make sure you go ahead and select everything that's in this black and darker area right here because that's where the actual banner is going to be. So I would recommend going to your snipping tool option if you're on a Windows computer. Just go into your um, Windows key or whatever. <laughs> Search up snipping tool and then here you go, you have the snipping tool. I don't know how to take a screenshot exactly, so I'm just going to use this. But then just uh, uh, get the thing ready here uh, by dragging it all the way across this entire picture, right? And then once you're done, just let go. And uh, now that you're done with that, here's your picture. The uh, approximate size of what YouTube is going to recommend for its background it as whatever you want. So now you're going to go back up to file, scroll down to place and then whatever the uh, thing you named it as so I named it as capture PNG place that alright so here's how it's gonna be this is gonna be your layout right um, let's say your name is slither.io place this right here because that's our foreground right wanna get a nice background picture uh, I guess we'll just use this awesome gray one right here uh, make sure it's across the entire area right here and then once again right click place now just go over to the sidebar right here on the right and you'll have the little area selected um, make sure it is selecting the area that you just put in the the sprite you just added into your picture and then once you once you have that selected just drag it all the way down to the bottom so that it does not um, cover the entire thing because that's not what you want to happen here and uh, there you go and now you could just uh, fill it in with that whatever detail you want. You could fill it in with some graphics you have or whatever. Once you're done with everything, you could just go ahead and get rid of the border because you don't need that anymore after that. You could just save it as is. So go ahead and go to File and then go down to Save As. And then make sure when you see the Format option, click that and then you go down to PNG. Make sure it's PNG and that's very important because... In the beginning we made so um we definitely need to have it a png click the little pen icon edit the links uh, not that actually it's the lower one edit channel art and then it's going to come up with this page here and as you can see at the bottom right it'll say channel art size 2560 by 1440 and that's exactly what we did so um go down to the area where you saved it i didn't actually do it but yeah it's pretty self-explanatory past that point and then you can just um do the uh, the options after that and then it'll say okay you you've done it and refresh the page and it will load like that so that is how you get a custom channel background obviously this is not really a background because you know this is just an explanation if you want to go ahead and um, try this out for yourself go ahead and figure it out um i'm not going to go into complete depth with how to use this photoshop thing this amazing and yeah that is how you make a banner such as this so yeah if you enjoyed make sure you just kill that like button and you just completely murder the subscribe button if you don't like murdering things then just lightly tap the subscribe button that'll also help out the channel and as always i'll see you guys in the next video thank you they god i can't